Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Buhari versus Osibanjo. How Nigerians' vice president violated the greatest law of power. What happened to the bromance between Iemi Osibanjo and Muhammad Buhari? What went wrong with a reliable deputy whose Nigeria Nigerians came to reckon with in the in the flirting face of an absentee principal. Barely six months ago, Vice President Yemi Osibanjo told the love that would have never been lost. It seemed between himself and the president, Muhammad Buhari. The president has taken me as a son in the way he treats me, Osibanjo said, during a visit to Buhari's home state of Castina where the boss was seen, seen doctor abroad. The amount of responsibilities President Muhammadu has given me shows he seriously believes we can live together as brothers, he said. That was in May 2019. Osiban Joe echoes the same statement in 2017 when the president spent over 100 days on a sick bed in the UK. Before embarking on that medical treat, trip, Buhari temporarily handed power. Before embarking on the medical trip, Buhari temporarily handed power over to his deputy, as stipulated by the constitution. But things did not appear to be as rosy at that moment before the father and son. In case you don't get the memo, the president is currently on a private medical trip visit to London and has refused to put Osibanjo in charge to silence his critics or war of those who are coming at him as they have to be identified. Buhari hails defense and move by arguing that the Nigerian president could rule the country from anywhere around the world. Forget the fact that the presidency has denied any reports of rift between Buhari and his office number two. But remember the words of the former minister, president of Percy and challenge Chan and chancellor of the then German Empire, Otto Wahl bears Marx, who abolished his audience to never believe anything in politics until it has been officially denied. There's no reef, there's no reef. But Buhari's chief of staff, Abakari, apparently on official number two appears to be he appears to be in the country flies all the way to london to represent the deep off sea and inland based production sharing contract bills to buhari who have signed it into law all in well all is well in asarok but buhari fired dozens of osibanjo's aid and after the vice president spokesperson dismissed the report as fake news, the presidency issued a statement to the contrary. Osiban still resides over the National Economic Council, NEC, but Buhari has constituted his own Economic Advice Council. The vice president has also been taken off the administrative legislation social investment program. One of such program, N Power, is now reported to have been recorded with a massive corruption under Osibanjo Watch. The president has also instructed his deputy not to make any move without approval from the Oga at the top. And then, and there are calls silently for the former lawyer to resign if he's not happy with the state of things. It is sens it is sensible but also convinced and is a way for the cabal to totally take over, which Nigerians will not agree. Osi Banjo travels with the tissue for 2023. There isn't a way to isolate the vice president trouble from Nigerians next election year without apparently ignoring, but there is ignore, ignoring what is happening. But there is another viable way 
that we need to consider. Two years ago, the counsel on the streets was that Buhari may have already appointed Osibanjo to consolidate his legacy with the people. But everything happening in Abuja right now indicates the president may be looking elsewhere for success and for advice. And it could be that Osibanjo better than, is better than Buhari. Hence, Buhari trying to hide him to make it look like he's not there for him to be seen. To whom much is given, much is expected. This phrase is often being said. A space in which increasing responsibility must unfortunately be reciprocated by bundling in passively and especially when the, when the laws and the stake is high. Always make this above your feeling, comfortable, supervised, and make sure that you think about this rationally. Is Osibanjo actually better than Buhari? I can say for fact that if Osibanjo was Nigerian's president, things would have been much more better. There will be more peace and progress. On the decline issue of Biafra, Osibanjo men mentioned the hard line, one Nigeria mandate, but a soft touch in a speech he delivered in Abuja in 2017, ahead of the 50th anniversary of the country bloody civil, civil war. Osibanjo called Biafra aggregated brothers and sisters and asked for their permission to defer and to support that we are gathered together, we are, we are greater together than apart. He made the, the, the call clearly and he appealed to the Biafrans. President Buhari was the one who was getting all the chance, but Osibanjo was the one putting his hands in the dirt and getting the work done. On several occasions that the president was away, Osibanjo would tell markets in Abuja traders and touch the infectious smiles with touches touch the life of Nigeria with his infectious smile and creates an impression in Nigeria that he is a more humanitarian one. This is what a president should be. Osibanjo is a breath of fresh air and Nigeria needs him to be the president. But it's actually a shock that APC has not spoken about him being the president even come 2023. All that all they are talking about is other fresh aspirants, the likes of Tinubu and others that are aspiring for the APC ticket. I wish it was Osibanjo. If it was, it would be a fresh breath of air to Nigeria as the political setting could be a shift and a change. Osibanjo is one in touch with the people and understand what it means to be a Nigerian in this age and time. He has done very well with the Nigerian population and he keeps doing more and more. He can relate with the boys on the street and everyone and everywhere. But this the Kaba has seen and as such wants to put a quench and make sure that he does not rise and become more prominent than Buhari. Well, you've heard it all. Nigerians, uh, this writer is saying, prefers Osibanjo to Buhari, who happens to be the president of the country. And we can hear again and again that Buhari is, is trying very hard to suppress Osibanjo so that he alone can be seen and um, Osibanjo will not be seen um, as, um, as, you know, as the man in charge. You know, every time Buhari is not around, there is always a change in the economy and the Nigerian political state. Remember when Osibanjo would go into the market and relate to the market women and even give them cash money to support their businesses? This puts smiles on the faces of fellow Nigerians who are working hard and doing their best to make sure that they make ends meet and live and live what live well in the economy and in the situation that we have found ourselves in Nigeria. But every time Buhari comes, it's as if everything about Sibanjo is quickly lost and forgotten. This is some of the things we are talking about. That Nigeria needs a breath of fresh air and we need to stop you know, um, we need to stop making it look like Buhari is really the one. The Kaba are the ones controlling things. But you can see that since um, this man has not been around Abika uh, Abakari, you could see that um, he's been felt in the Nigerian economy because these are the people that Buhari relates with and get advices from and to be able to um, govern. But since they've not been around, it's just additional, Femi additional, 
Garo Bashiru and Eli Muhammad that have been speaking because these are his mouthpiece. He has not made the Sibanjo one of his mouthpiece. Um, but anyway, Nigerians, now the matter we may reach us be this, and we are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to thumbs up and to subscribe if you have not. We are here to keep you up to date and to make sure that you are duly informed. Please don't forget to stay safe, wash your hands, and pray that this will this coronavirus thing will go. Thanks very much for listening. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye.